Hi guys, I have a first impressions video for you today um, showing you the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. Um, if you want to see how it went on and how I liked it, just keep on watching. Okay guys, I know I look really bizarre because I'm not wearing any mascara. So, extreme close up and it looks a little weird, I know. So today we're gonna try this mascara by L'Oreal. It is Voluminous Butterfly. And we're just gonna see what my first impressions of it is. I will say that I love that you can see the brush in the package. Um, what it says it's supposed to do is that it features a breakthrough wingtip brush to lengthen, stretch, and volumize every lash to the outer corners of the eye. And then it says, uh, for the first time, L'Oreal creates an asymmetrical wingtip brush featuring a unique shape to catch every lash from corner to corner and flexible arches to lift up at the outer edge. It also says it's infused with 1.2 millimeter fibers that instantly coats the lashes with soft and delicate veil for longer looking silky feeling lashes with up to six times the volume. Now, I'm a little skeptical of the fibers, but the brush looks really interesting. And I love that I was actually able to see the brush before buying. It feels like there's nothing in this. <laughs> I wonder if I got a bad one. Oh no, okay. Definitely stuff in there. So, let's give you a pretty good close-up of the brush. Um, if it'll ever zoom in. You see those little longer ones at the bottom and then it seems like there's not so much at the top? I guess that is what I'm supposed to use to you know, make it flare out or whatever. So, uh, I've got the color black brown, and then this is what it looks like when it's all put together. And let's just get right into this first impression. It's very wet. Very, 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 very wet. Um, I forgot my mirror, so it looks like we're going to be doing it in the viewfinder. This is very weird to do without a mirror, but... I'm not so sure I like that long bristle. It's definitely a little weird. Oh, almost, of course I poked myself in the eye. And then of course, because it's so particular, you have to either redo your hand or the brush. Why does everyone make a crazy face when putting on mascara? I don't understand. Okay, well I think I've gotten the hang of it. I don't know about the, the thickness of it. It's very thick. And it definitely looks, it definitely looks lengthening. Um, you can kind of see right there where my, I mean it definitely poked those puppies out some. See what happens if I, I just keep adding more. Will I get to the point where it's disgusting or... I don't know. I'm not on the bottom. Okay, it's definitely easier to use the, the small part of the brush for the bottom lashes. You know, I don't I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I don't think it it lengthens a little bit. 
Um, I wouldn't call it butterfly wings, but I mean, it definitely looks thicker. Um, if you look at, at, at that side view, definitely, definitely like pumped up the volume of my lashes. Uh, so yeah. All right. Um, I, I think it's pretty okay. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to use it more than now. Um, you know, cause this was just kind of like a first impressions type thing, but I'll use it for another week and then I'll just, you know, mention it in another video, you know, if it, if it keeps performing like this. I do want to say the packaging is very cute. I, I like the packaging a lot. It just seems very sleek. Um, this L'Oreal mascara is a huge improvement over the Miss Manga or Manga or, you know, however you pronounce those types of cartoons. But, um, this is a huge improvement over that one, uh, definitely. But, I'll use it some more and we'll see how it goes. So, hopefully this was at least a little bit helpful. If you were thinking about buying this, you at least got to see it in action. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.